For years, CVS has been working to become a one stop shop for health care with not just pharmacies, but also walk in clinics. By joining forces with insurance giant Aetna, CVS says they envision their locations becoming something of a community based medical center that includes space for wellness, clinical and pharmacy services, as well as vision, hearing, nutrition, beauty, and medical equipment. A company like CVS has 10,000 brick and mortar locations. So that if if you're an Aetna customer, you can access the healthcare system through a CVS, which a lot of us see around the corner from where we live day to day. The proposed mega merger comes as the companies face new competitors, including Amazon, which after expanding beyond basic retail products and groceries, started inching into the healthcare business. That made companies like CVS sit up and take notice. Still, the merger needs to be approved by antitrust regulators, who recently put the brakes on AT&T's $85 billion purchase of Time Warner, as well as another healthcare merger between Anthem and Cigna Corporation. I think one of the questions is when these two firms come together, they might do a better job lowering drug prices, but do they end up passing those drug prices on to consumers? And that's frankly the question that regulators are going to look at when they scrutinize this transaction. In a joint statement, the two companies called this a natural evolution as they seek to put the consumer at the center of health care delivery. Experts say the move could reinvent the way you go to the doctor. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York.